my name's Coastal Harris. I am from Hartcliffe. Yeah, I'm from Bristol, but I live in a in a community called Hartcliffe, um, and I love my community dearly. You know, yeah, There's some wonderful people in Hartcliffe. I've been following the Lord for nine years, full on. I met the Lord Jesus Christ in my bedroom nine years ago, and. I give everything up for the Lord and he's taking me from nation to nation by faith, making disciples, baptizing people and um, leading people through deliverance and, and walking, you know, as Jesus walked, city to city, village to village, to travel on the mountains, to pray, to get strategies, to, 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 to pour into the one and invest in that one and raise that one up to, you know, be nation shakers really. So we, we're all called to, to make disciples, right? We need to invest in people. So this is why I thought the Lord speak to me and just say, it's time to let it all out. The purpose of this webpage, Brave Hearts for Jesus, is so that God may be glorified and I want people to see Jesus. The wild side of Jesus, all he wants is a willing heart. He wants your heart, your whole heart. And when you give him your whole heart, you get him. It's all about being with him. Eternal life is that we may know the Father. That's important. So I just thought to set this web page up, something outside of Facebook where everything can be consolidated and in one place where people can see the travel vlogs and the testimonies and where the Lord's taken me and what he's done and just just everything in order really, you know, I think this is really, really important. So I'm just going to share two scriptures. Psalm 23, one of my favorites. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures and leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul and leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies and anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And there's another scripture in Thessalonians 5.11. And this is, this is why we're here. We need to edify one another and in and encourage one another and, and stir one another up unto good work. So it's just a whole reason in establishing Brave Arts for Jesus, the page, and yeah, just to get everything in order. Yeah, that's what the Apostle Luke said. I write to you an orderly account of what the Lord Jesus has done. So that's important, you know, we need some order. First Thessalonians 5.11 Therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. This is important. We're here to know love and become love and give that love to others. So I just wanna thank you, Jesus. I wanna thank you for coming and setting me free. I wanna thank you for all you have done for me, for every answered prayer. I wanna thank you for the tests and the trials and the persecutions and the crushings, Lord God, because you've developed and you continue to develop and teach me to endure and my character and, and patience and I'm being molded into the image of your son, Lord. And we need to abide and spend time with you, Lord, in order for this to ha happen. So I just want to thank you for, for all of this, Father God. 
And my hope and prayer is that people see you, Jesus. They see you because you deserve it. And this is why we're doing this. In Jesus' name.